y'all always have to remember that um, gamers are gamers, period, uh, y'all. It's it's no if ands, or buts, or whatever about it. And um, I've been trying to uh, teach y'all and explain to y'all. Well, I'm not teaching y'all because we're all learning this together, not just me, you know. It's other people that's on the journey that are readers or whatever, you know. They're readers of people, you know. God give us that gift. It's not to do anything with, oh, you know. And a lot of people don't understand the difference between these gifts or whatever that God give us. But they could be used in, uh, they could be used in a demonic way or in a, a light worker way. Or whatever and so um again i was stating to you guys or whatever um it's gonna be really really hot today so i'm trying to go ahead and get this out the way i mean most of the time i'm here in the mornings and you know when the sun go down i'll finish or whatever um so uh Gaming is gaming, period. Uh, it's no if ands, or buts about it, or whatever. Um, you could prostitute pretty much anyone or anything. It, it's just done in different manners, or whatever. And all this game playing and game talking and conning and, you know, a lot of readers don't realize, or whatever, you know, but you know I'm not gonna say or whatever I'm just going to you know you guys will learn it's almost like um, I'm talking to my my kids or something or whatever because we've been on this for like a year or so or whatever and um, my thing is I don't want anything done to me that I wouldn't want anyone else doing to me. I wouldn't want to do anything to someone that I don't want them doing to me. And so I've learned that was, a, you know, and I came in here on that or whatever, but I tried to explain it to the collective or whatever and um tried to show my gratitude and help or whatever and people that spiritually blind they're not gonna take it that's just like um uh monique uh talking about the bonnets or whatever whatever uh like before she even brought that up because i <clears throat> I were a person that I had to have my hair done all the time. And uh, when I fell, you know, I never, you know, when I fell down, like I had fallen, I kind of started wearing, you know, rags more, not getting my hair done as much, woo, woo, woo. Or whatever um, I just think it's a more easier way for for women to be lazy and you know it's a lot of women now they're working from home or whatever and they're working from home or whatever and um, I had fallen or whatever. It wasn't a matter of me being lazy. It was just a matter of me like just practically like giving up because, you know, after so many hurts and pains or whatever, I was just like, F it, you know? I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do anything anymore or whatever. And that's when my anxiety and depression 
had set in and it was horrible or whatever you know um um it was horrible horrible and so i don't know or whatever um right now i'm in a space of um damn if you do damn if you don't i don't care i don't care if you do it i don't care if you don't it's up to you do whatever you please do whatever you want to do or whatever but make sure you know basically what you're doing if it's you know for the help of yourself and others and also um also that's not going to come back to bite you like we do all of the you know all of this stuff and everyone want this and everyone want that or whatever but the matter of the situation is is this something that's going to come back at, to to bite you in your ass um is this something that's going to come back that's going to come back to hinder you later or whatever because no matter what we do or whatever you're you're not going to get away with what you're doing i don't understand why people people don't understand that like you could tell them to your blue in the face but a lot of people they're not going to they're not going to listen to you they're gonna be sitting up here like oh I'm doing the right thing and da 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 and you can't tell me nothing okay and all the time they're doing everything wrong or whatever but you can't tell them that or whatever they just know that they're doing their due or doing whatever and they care for you not to tell them it's a lot of us card readers it's card readers think that they are awakened think that they are doing this and that and the other and it's not true they're not you know a lot of you could just by the look of it you can tell of the um you can tell of the their actions or whatever very unawakened very much not doing very much not vibing high but they make it look good just the same way as uh you know say for instance a pimp or whatever they'll tell you i'm gonna take care of you i love you no one's gonna do this how the hell you're gonna take care of me or whatever and you can't even take care of yourself you are codependent you are probably narcissistic you are a person that can't be alone you are a person that need all this attention so you have to have 10 women or whatever <laughs> no honey you can't love me the way I need to be loved I got to do that for myself Ugh. you know you can't do that for me because someone's gonna get cheated and <laughs> being with these men that have all these women that's what happened like someone's gonna get the short end of the stick because <laughs> Uh, one person can only stretch stretch themselves so far you know what I'm saying say like really or whatever you're going to be cheated I don't know why y'all play these little games and then also to do with women or whatever and even people cunning each other and you know you can pimp a thousand things in a thousand ways y'all not they're not seeing it like that at the time because it's good you know and all these advances that satan is 
giving to people. I don't understand how y'all not seeing through the delusion, but you can't make people uh, hear you out. It'll be after you walk away when they will begin to start listening and understand, oh, this is what, you know, uh, this person was trying to tell me. This is what, you know, that was, or whatever. This is what that was, and I wasn't listening. Oh, oh, that's what she meant by that, and that's what he meant by that. You can't beat anything into no one's head and make them understand the truth or no, see the truth of the matter. Um, I'm going to tell you, uh, that's a lot of reasons why relationships and take, for instance, you go pick up a low vibrational man that haven't been mothered or fathered properly and they get with these women and now you become the mom to this individual you become their mother and father and you're taking on a lot because you got to got to cater to this man or whatever man man it is you got to cater to his need his needs and his needs may be a lot and take for instance that you got children and this man is codependent and haven't been mothered or fathered or whatever and you take on that responsibility to go into a relationship with a narcissistic codependent individual that person is most of the time that person is going to want all of your time they're going to want you to do this that 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 a lot of times even if they have a job or whatever your job is going you're going to work your job then you have the kids then or whatever and someone's going to be cheated and so be it if it's a narcissistic person, codependent person, a person that haven't been mothered, fathered, you know, need you to cater to them like 24 hours around the clock or most of the 24 hours you're going to have to put into that person or whatever. And it's going to be double for your trouble. Like you're going to work double or probably three times as if you were by yourself with just you and your children or whatever. And another thing about that situation is those kind of men, they pretty much don't care about what's going on with the kids. They may pretend as though they um, care and have your children best interests and da 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 da. And even if it's their kid, or whatever, most of the time, or whatever, they'll do a little bit. A narcissistic person will do so much for their own kid. And then it's really about them. They really don't care about anyone else's feelings or what's going on. They're real um, greedy. And most of those people are greedy and selfish as well. You're not gonna get anywhere with them either um uh it's basically about them and it could be a man or a woman like even with a narcissistic woman or whatever um most of her she's gonna cater to herself i've seen it i've seen it and those kids are going going to be in lack in some areas or whatever where you know, they're barely given the bare minimum to their own child. And it's all because they haven't been fathered or mothered and they're codependent and da 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 da. These are women that have to have a man, they can't be alone and all this and that or whatever. Um, they have to be right, entitled, they have to 
flaunt their ass around. Most of those people, they will come around, flaunt around. They keep themselves up, like dressed up. They have, you know, they really, it's about them a lot. And the, most of their money and time and all of that go into themselves because they're not giving no one else any love, really. It's not going to happen. And it could be their own children. Like those, their kids are even getting like, they're going to be in lack if you're dealing with a narcissistic parent. Like, they can't give you anything because they're empty. So, you know, they can only offer you the bare minimum of, you know, uh, basically anything or whatever. Um, it's not going to be nothing that, uh, you know, that's... <clears throat> nothing that's lovable or fulfilling it's gonna always be empty empty like they have to do a lot of things on the outer surface for themselves to fulfill you know the emptiness that they feel like they're attention seekers you know they don't stay in their lane they don't ever stay in their lane most of the time you'll see them trying to outdo you um, they be in competitions with people like it's bad okay so I'm just telling y'all and that's the thing or whatever about a narcissist I, a parent as well they, they're gonna only do the bare minimum and yeah like take for instance they see someone else like go have a real big party or something for their child or whatever just all uh, on the strength of them being uh jealous or wanting to be in competition with you they'll do something like that for their child yeah they'll go and they'll outdo it like they'll to make it look better than what you had did for your kid um narcissistic people like I'm telling y'all, y'all have to tap in over here. Y'all got these fast talking readers and all of that, and I'm on they throws too. I don't give a damn what they talking about. These hoes, you know what I'm saying? You got to go heal for real. You got to be them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these women, they're narcissistic themselves and sitting up on here trying to give in. They can talk a good game and teach you a good lesson as well too. Because you're going to learn your lesson after you jump up and realize, oh, that person really wasn't healed, and they was con, and they was popping con, and a running game with you, and telling you a whole bunch of jabber-jabber, or whatever, and they knew how to work their jelly, because they they know that it's them. A person that know that they're doing this, or know, or whatever, whatever, um, or they're quick to blame someone else for all of the things that have occurred and happened in their life or whatever most of the time they still need to be healed because you don't put the blame God make things happen in our lives or whatever empty people they can't give you anything but something that's not of value and that's even themselves they don't value themselves they don't love themselves so they can't give you they can't give you anything but the bare minimum. I mean, and at times, if they're narcissistic or whatever, and, uh, take, for instance, a narcissistic person that don't even know what they're doing, don't even know what's the root cause of their problem, of them being sick and being the way they are and treating people the way they treat them and all of that. Take, for instance, a person of that nature. God don't even hold them accountable because they're fools they don't even know what they're doing and a lot of times or whatever like a lot of these people you know but God will come and show you also you, you know we all have to come clean or whatever he'll show us what we're doing and uh, for us to clean it up or whatever and um, a lot of times though those people or whatever that's narcissistic or whatever whatever and don't know any better and don't know they get away with a bunch of shit, but they be mentally sick. Like, they're really mentally, you know, they're mental, okay? Like, 
this didn't just start with me like when I was younger when God started showing me myself and showing me what I was going through and what was my problems and my issues or whatever I got stuck in between time in the meantime you know but God kept showing me and when you know who God is and when you know and you want to be better or whatever you allow God to help you with different things and people and places and he'll show you things through people and things will keep occurring and happening or whatever where it's showing you lessons and things that you're doing and da 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 and it's for us to get over that milestone and go over that mountain and don't be stuck on the other side or whatever I don't you know what I'm saying you know what have stopped me and what helped me is me like I started this conversation off I don't want anyone doing to me I don't want to do anything to anyone that I wouldn't want them doing to me and when I started operating from that space it, it stopped a lot of things and now granted hurt lost people Da, 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 people a lot of people they know what they're doing or whatever they may pretend that they but they're just gamers they're con artists and don't even know it they're a con artist they're a pimp really pimping people out under the radar basically because you know they're not putting a label on it they're not putting a name on it but in every sense that's directly what it is so you can't talk about no one else like a lot of these people they're pimps and prostitutes they're doing it to themselves and they do it to everyone around them and everyone else like so you can't judge a pimp or a prostitute one that's basically taking women to the stroll or the boulevard or setting up dates on the internet or however they do it because a lot of people they can be going to a job doing that to people they can have a business where they're doing that to people and, and themselves. You know, they're pimps and prostitutes. Come on now. We're not going to sugarcoat anything anymore, right? Or whatever. Um, but I want to teach you how to not be stuck or whatever. I want to show you or whatever. And that's what I'm telling you guys about because I got a lot of um, tools and things put in play that will help your spirit grow or whatever and you know it's up to us to want to change and do things in a proper manner and not have a bunch of negative things coming back towards us or whatever uh, a lot of times in life you have to push your way through though because if you don't you got a devil over here a devil over here demonic spirits over here demonic spirits and they're all in people who will try to stop and block you from moving forward. Uh, you'll see them moving real fast and doing a bunch of stuff real fast. One thing I've learned or whatever, pimps, they talk real fast. They can talk your ass up out of your, un your panties, your drawers, your money, your socks, your whatever. Um, they talk real, real fast. That fast talking do not <laughs> intimidate me you moving a whole moving a whole bunch because you're doing all of that and you bring in all of that negative energy back to yourself and then you wonder why you start wondering why you know what you did stop and wait a minute or whatever you're going through all of that because you haven't healed you're going God might even have you in this position to test you to see what you're gonna do to see if you're gonna be right, to see if you're gonna change, or whatever. And a lot of people, they don't. They don't change, they just, they, it, the devil, one thing about the devil, he will take you further and have you thinking you're in a whole delusion, an illusion, and have you thinking that you're operating in a proper manner. And the more you're thinking that, the more you're, the devil sinking you in like to do his works and to do things that he wants you to be doing that it you know 
that don't do anything but dig a further hole eventually. So, yeah, this um, reading and message, I'm reading pimps and prostitutes right now because I feel a lot of energies on YouTube and it's them and I guarantee you here in some months or a year whatever whatever God will show me what he was telling me about that person it's true <laughs> like and it's not funny though because I be knowing like it's their energy <laughs> it give them give myself away I give myself away so I so God can use me give myself away giving myself away so I so God so God can use me give myself away and that's what I be doing God uh, or man yeah God be using me to do this that 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 and some and I'm seeing everyone moving real fast I'm like, where you going? You about the wreck. You better come correct. Because I got the tech. And you the spec. <laughs> and I detect. You about the wreck. You better come correct. You better come correct. You about the wreck. I got the tech. And you the spec. I'm the ace of love card off the dick, dick, dick. I'm the ace of love card off the dick, dick, dick. You about to wreck. Better come correct. I'm with the tech. You that speck that I detect. <laughs> okay. Instant way, y'all. Instant way. But, um, y'all, I better get off of here because... I will be back. I will be back. And I will be back with the card reading, okay? Boy. Boy. Don't y'all forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if I accept all donations, if you guys want to donate to my channel, dollar signs Charlie's Angel 75. And also, I do readings $25. Um, for a reading, a personal reading, if you want more than 35 to 45 minutes, it will be more than that. But email me at peachpollard at gmail.com. God bless. Y'all have a great day.